everyone, I'm Ethan with Awakened Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. One of the most impressive things about Catholicism is the mere fact that it's still around. Our faith has survived thousands of years of change and turmoil, something that wouldn't have been possible without great teachers. Today, Saint Rosa Venerini is one of those teachers. Rosa Venerini was born into a wealthy family living in central Italy in 1656. Her faith ran deep, even in childhood, and she consecrated herself to God at only seven years old. However, as she grew into adulthood, she became uncertain of where her life would lead. After some deliberation, she accepted a marriage offer at 20 years old, but her fiance died shortly afterward. With married life no longer awaiting her, Rosa decided to join her aunt in the monastery of St. Catherine. However, only a few months later, her father died. She returned home to help, but her ailing, heartbroken mother soon died as well, along with her brother. Though she was away from the monastery, she tried to remain close to God. She spoke with her new spiritual director, and in doing so, realized that she felt called to assist in the education and religious formation of young women. Rosa left her father's home and, with the help of her two closest friends, endeavored to start a school. Their goal was to offer general and religious education to poor girls and help them prepare for their adult lives. While they received some report from those who knew them, Rosa and her peers faced a great deal of resistance. Many were skeptical of Rosa and didn't think her efforts would accomplish anything. Some of the most vocal criticisms came from members of clergy who thought that only ordained priests should be allowed to teach catechism. In spite of the mixed response, Rosa continued her work and doubt began to disappear as she delivered undeniable results. The girls admitted to the new school improved greatly in both knowledge and behavior. As time went on and the school's efforts were noticed, more and more people had their eyes on Rosa. Eventually, she was invited by the Cardinal of Montefiscioni to serve as an administrator and improve education within his diocese. With the cardinal's support, Rosa made great strides, opening 10 schools over the course of just two years. By 1716, her fame had grown immensely and she was visited by Pope Clement IX. He was accompanied by a handful of cardinals who wanted to see her teach. At the end of the lessons, the Pope praised her and thanked her for her work, which he said would sanctify Rome. News of the Pope's approval spread, and Rosa was soon requested all over the country. Her life became one of continuous travel and instruction as she tried to do as much as she could to improve the education of young women. By the time of her death in 1728, she had opened more than 40 schools. She was beatified in 1728 and canonized in 2006. The Venerini sisters, the order that formed around her, continue Rosa's work even today. We each want to grow in our faith, but faith isn't just something to be hoarded and increased. It's a gift we are asked to pass along from parent to child and from teacher to student. Best of all, it's a gift we can give without losing anything ourselves. St. Rosa Venerini, pray for us.